Absolutely. I mean, panda bear meat. Communist metaphor. <laughs> communist metaphor. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be hopping into the first game of the series, this best of three, the qualifying match. Spawning up here on the top right-hand corner of the map, he goes by the name, the Juggernaut. It's Jason from Team Cray Squad. Ooh, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. wiggle. <laughs> I said that too quickly <laughs> and tripped over my words. But spawning down in the bottom left position from Team Root, it is the Green Zerg player. Give it up for Panda Bear Me. Oh, hear that gusto in the crowd. They're excited, yeah. and they should be. I think this is probably going to be one of the closest series that we've seen so far in terms of, on paper, how this series should look. Absolutely, and I think, I think it's a real treat that we did get to see this in the qualifying match. Mm -hmm. Now, to talk about the map a little bit, this is something we haven't seen all day, but we could finally see a 3 racks Reaper play. Mm, yeah, it's definitely possible. It seems like Jason's not actually going to yeah, be... Uh, it's a little late at this point for the yeah, barracks, but... He's saving up for the command center. But I do yeah. agree, it's a very, very common thing, especially the, even the proxy 3 racks Reaper. And yeah. for those who don't know, maybe you've been out of touch with StarCraft a little bit, 3 racks Reaper, just such a ridiculously strong play because you really do rely on just getting out this massive number of Reapers, putting the pressure on your opponent, never stopping, but you get to take a command center eventually behind it. And it's really just about the idea that you do damage and you force your opponent to continuously make units. But here's the thing, Panda Bear Me has just been playing so fearless, even on Frozen Temple when a Zerg player still hatch first, gets their gas and then goes to the spawning pool. I think that's a sign that Panda Bear Me is just not afraid of it. Yeah, I don't think he's, he's been fearless this whole tournament, like you said, and I think that's gonna continue for the rest of the tournament, at least until he gets into those round robin games. Uh, still leaving three drones on gas, so it looks like he's going to be going for that pneumatized carapace he's been favoring in these ZVTs to scout his opponent. Mm -hmm. uh, meanwhile, Jason, once again, going for that second <laughs> Rax, and uh, looks like we're going to see, most likely, another uh, double marine. Yeah. Uh, sorry, double medevac, 16 marine drop. We do see... Reaper getting some okay damage done, you know, softening yeah. up some of those drones, but oh! not able to get the kills. Wow, fantastic micro over there from Panda Bear Me is able to get the full surround in the mineral line, and that really does shut down Jason's ability to get any kind of scouting information out for a little bit longer. He doesn't know necessarily whether or not Panda Bear Me is just going to go into something super crazy, get up a lair, but you know what? Here's the reality, but I think Panda Bear Me is most likely just going to play as Panda Bear Me does. He's going to get up a double evolution chamber, he's going to get up his double upgrades, he's going to get up a third, and he's going to drone like a madman with no Bane, Lee, Nestor, Rotorn behind it. Yeah, and uh, I think at this point, though, just the the fear he's now put into Jason's heart is uh, is worth killing that Reaper. I mean, obviously, it's good to kill that Reaper. Yeah. You don't lose any drones. But the fact that Jason now has to be unaware, he has to play a little bit safer, might throw down a bunker, It's that's a big advantage for Panda Bear Me. And uh, I want to point out, like that was such a crisp move right there, trapping them between the mineral lines. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do see, oh, wow, that's a fresh mule, and that's oh. going to go down. Big pickoff for Panda Bear Me. Jason's Marine's a little bit out of position right there, and uh, taking a huge mental edge is Panda Bear Me. Yeah, I'm actually a little bit surprised that we're seeing so many of the supply depots for Jason come down in the main base rather yeah. than over at that ramp. Normally on Galactic Process, right outside the natural expansion, you end up seeing the supply depots coming down to create that wall up over by the ramp, or you do it between the ramp and the natural expansion command center. But we don't really see uh, either one supply depot starting to come down, but that wall really isn't getting started just yet. Yeah, no, just now building two, and it's a part of the command center, as, uh, as opposed to actually blocking off his natural base. Yeah. Uh, we are going to be seeing those double medevacs pop out. So despite the fact that Jason lost that early mule and the Reaper, he's still on track with his build. Uh, now, this is important to note. Panda Bear Me has quite a few queens and nice creep spread between his natural and third. Uh, that's going to help a lot in dealing with this build. And I actually oh, yeah. really like taking down these rocks as well. Yeah, you are able to finally chase after those medevacs as they try and move down the ramp. Obviously, if your opponent just unloads the marines on the low ground, they can fire at the zerglings on the high ground without really facing any kind of repercussion. So it finally allows you to give the opportunity for your zerglings to chase those guys down and really prevent your opponent from continuously harassing you. Yes, and uh, we are going to have double engineering bay coming out from Jason. Meanwhile, Panda Bear Me already starting his 1-1. That's a, that's a pretty nice upgrade timing lead if he doesn't take any real damage from this attack. Yeah, I mean, this really does look a lot like the standard ZBT setup, but this is going to be the yes. big moment. How much damage do these medevacs do? But not just that. Do the Marines stay alive? Does he keep the medevacs alive and healthily ready for the following push-up? That's going to come with 1-1 finishing up. 
Yes, that's very crucial. Uh, actually going to be able to pick off three creep tumors here a lot. Nice positioning on those queens. Well split. split. Uh, needs to transfuse. Good transfuse coming down. Going to target higher down one of the metabacks. Gets it down to about 25% HP. Yeah. Uh, really nice transfuses. Takes down one of the oh metabacks. Good job from Band of Bear Me. Panda and that, that was incredible. He's even going to save most of his creep spread. Really nicely done from Panda Bear Me. How did Panda Bear Me even really lose a whole lot over there? I mean, he didn't even lose a queen. He may have lost like a couple of Zerglings. So that is basically it. And you yeah. can see resources lost. How often do you end up seeing this like this far in favor after the first push in? Almost never. That was incredibly well done from Panda Bear Me. And he still has so many queens left over. And here we end up seeing the Spire finally being thrown down. Banely Ness coming out for Panda Bamry instead of the Roach Warren. But here we go. Jason is not done just yet. He comes in with Ooh, some more nice Marines. Nice transfuse. Tries to get some damage done. But actually, yeah, these, there's still a lot of Marines here and not a lot to deal with it. Queens are going down. All of a sudden, this might be just too much damage. Panda Bamry losing a lot right here. Yeah. And yeah, he's losing drones at this point. And the Marines get to that money spot with no Banelings out right now. I mean, the Baneling Nest is sure on the way, but he's really just relying on pure Zerglings. Even his Queens aren't really able to get into the fight at this point. The Marines do need to be careful about overstimming at this point because they need time to heal up. I yes, mean, they do. It's starting to get a little bit dicey, but he's just doing a lot of damage. He's beating off so many Zerglings oh as they rally out. I, is Panda Bear even going to get a chance to make Banelings? The micro from Jason is so on point with the stutter step, taking down another oh queen, maybe. And Banely Ness is finished up, but where are the Zerglings to make the Banelings right now, Steadfast? <laughs> picks up and goes into the main. Yeah, look at this. He's so far down in army supply now, and all of a sudden, Jason has caught up almost in workers. Oh, if that doesn't get noticed, that could do a lot of damage right there. Mm -hmm. The drones are transferring back to... Oh, they go off on <laughs> Larva. Yeah. That could have actually been game ending, though. It could have been a really, really scary moment, but behind this, Jason gets up his macro, something that we saw in his other matches where he was able to just continuously overpower his opponent. He actually really showed in that series versus Creature. And once yes. again, we see he has really good macro still going for him. Panda Bear Me. army supply behind this. Oh my god. Panda Bear Me is honestly not getting to play as greedy of a game as he did in the past. And he's starting to get some of those feelings. Oh. Widowmine, getting nice a couple drum. more kills. Yeah. But I think Jason's looking really strong right now. Oh, I think he's in an incredible spot at this point. Up 20 army supply, laying down these Widowmines. And that creep spread has been stinted from earlier. He never respread it after oh. putting down those original tumors. Three overlords go down right there. Not quite going to supply a block. And thankfully, he already lost a lot of his Zerglings earlier on. Oh, we have a big fight on the Marines. Widow Mines did go off. Not sure how much damage they did right there. Uh, do get cleaned up. So Jason does get pushed back for now, but he's still up 15 army supply. Yeah. And it's that small little army supply lead that's going to allow him to continuously pressure and make sure that Panda Bear Me isn't just fully droning up. But Panda Bear Me is starting to get out a massive wave of Zerglings. His Spire is finished up, but he's not making any Mutalus. And I want to tell you, that is a bit concerning because realistically, he's not making Mutalus not because he doesn't probably want to. He's not making Mutalus because he doesn't actually have the gas to. He made so many of those Bane links to oh, deal with wow. this aggression. That's a lot of links that just went down. And I don't know if, if uh, Panda Bear Me is going to have enough to hold this at this point. Oh, the Bane links are a little bit late over here. There's only two. Oh, but they get big connections. connections. Yeah, it's going to be enough to force a lift up. A couple of Zorgans of Bane sit on the left-hand side trying to push back another double drop that was coming out. Jason is doing an okay job continuously putting on the pressure. He's not over committing with any of his units, but he's trying to get up a big army behind him. He's starting up on the Liberators. He's continuously just pouring out his units. But the problem is, I don't think he's really been able to get the big damage done. He's been able to get some good trades, but he's never got on top of that throne line since the earlier stage of the game. Yeah, and a uh, big, big push coming in here on the right side. Meanwhile, another, that drop is still alive on the left. Gonna clear up even more creep. Jason has done an excellent job at blinding his opponent. He's knocked down so many overlords on the map, pushed back the creep continuously, and he's just really keeping the pressure on on all fronts. Now, important to note, he forgot his plus one armor and a big counterattack on the third base of Jason. Yeah, he's able to force some of the SCVs off of mining, and we do end up seeing Jason finally clean Ooh. up all those Zerglings. Not all of those links get blindsided yeah, there. He was busy trying to push in on the same time, so his tension just wasn't quite there. Zelnaga Watchtower gets grabbed, and he's oh, seen the Banelings. for the Banelings. Big connections on those Marines, actually. Yeah, oh, and on the other side. 
Yeah, it's so interesting though, because Jason is just still leading up by a small uh, supply lead, and of course he is does not actually have the armor upgrade for those Marines, which does sting a little bit. But if he's able to defend against this big push in from Panda Bear, me, yeah, Infestation Pit was thrown down. Yeah, the high tech is all the way, oh. but uh, we'll have to see how this engagement goes. Big Bane link connections on a lot, or sorry, big uh, connections on the Widow Mines on a lot of those things. Meanwhile, another fight slightly oh, to the Bane south. Links. Making their way into the mineral line, not quite making the big connections. Looks like Panda Bearmy's counterattack got blunted hard. Oh wow, a lot of Marines there in the red on the south half. Looks like they uh, took maybe a big Bane link connection, but just one. Yeah, and I feel like this has got to be the time. Jason has to say, okay, dealt with the counterattack. I got to move out again because he's got to know. Wait, you're just making pure Zerglings and Banelings? Like you've got to have some kind of backup plan. There's got to be something else coming out behind this, behind just constant Zergling harassment needs to know that a hive tech has already done, that an ultimate cavern is likely going to be on the way. Yeah, and uh, I really like the use of this position by Jason. Should be able to continually pull back. Nice killing creep once again. Uh, really keeping Panda Bear oh. me occupied. Yeah, this army is so stimmed to death. A lot of those Marines couldn't even stim anymore, so they have no. to load up into the medevac. They have to retreat uh. on out. Ghosts are starting to come out. Widow Lion's also going to be able to clean up some of these Zergling counterattacks as well as some of the reinforcements, but it seems like Jason is not saying, I'm going to try and kill you before Ultralis. He's saying, I'm going to take you on, but I'm going to also make sure you don't get to such a comfortable position on your Ultralis that yes. you overwhelm me. I'm, he's preparing to not kill him now. He's preparing to fight the Ultralis exactly. from an advantageous position. And that's, I can tell oh. you, he's really good at that. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Just popping back and forth between the third and fourth base. Really nicely done. Really making use of those liberation zones, too. Meanwhile, another drop coming in on the left side. And honestly, like, just the denial of that fourth expansion mining has had a significant impact on Panda Bear Me's army. Because remember, again, Panda Bear Me is only just now throwing down the Ultras Cavern. Why is he only just now throwing down the Ultras Cavern? Because uh, Jason has been relentless Ooh. with the aggression. And also, he's been spending all of his uh, gas on Bane Link, So he hasn't had an opportunity to. Big counterattack coming in, picking off a few Marauders and several SEVs. Uh, this is going to get cleaned up, but meanwhile, in the natural expansion of Panda Bear Me, a lot of action going down, taking down quite a few drones. Might even get the natural expansion. Oh, man, that would be a big win right now. If even just limiting down any of the gas. I mean, the fourth expansion also got picked off. Oh. And Panda Bear Me is going ham with some of the Banelings, but the SEVs are older and retreating. Look at this in City. It's so difficult to actually get in over here. Oh, that's a lot of Banelings. He really needs oh damage. Ooh, burrowed Banelings in the mineral line. Oh, is he going to catch the SCVs as they transfer in three Banelings? Here comes the worker transfer. And oh, 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 oh! Oh! Great connection. Panda Bear Me still sitting up a few workers. Jason definitely falling much further behind. Jason still has a very big army lead, though. He's sitting up almost 56 army supply. These counterattacks are the only thing keeping Panda Bear Me in this game right now. If Jason moves out, Panda Bear Me is going to keel over very, very quickly. But he's getting out the Ultralis very soon. He's got Titans playing on the way, and he still has some good upgrades. Oh, uh, Panda Bear Me's economy is in shambles, though. Look at his mineral count. It is in the gutter. He needs a fourth, fifth, and sixth base right now. <laughs> And that's the problem, right, is that, yes, he's sitting on not so great of a worker count, but it's still okay. It's an adequate worker count. The yeah. problem is he doesn't have any bases to actually mine f uh, with them. Exactly. He he could have two full bases worth of saturation right now, but he doesn't. He has <laughs> one mined out base, one almost mined out base, and one fully mined out base. Oh, Ooh, really nice. Jason in it. position to block that. Yeah. We have another army pushing on forward. It's just pure Zergling. Some of the Banelings finally coming on in behind us, but Jason lifts up and keeps alive. Most of his units loses a ghost of full energy. Not as ideal, but still, Jason is continuing the pressure. He is sitting up 90 supply. And let me tell you something, Steadfast. A lot of people came into this saying, Panda Bear me, he's a Panda Bear god. He will not lose this. He's going to be favored, but... I mean, Jason is just playing so well today, really proving he does not have the tournament jitters anymore. No, he's looking really sharp right now. Ever since that second second run-in with the medevacs, the first set of medevacs, he has been unrelenting in his aggression. Oh, and we see a big fight coming in. Banelings connecting kind of well on the army, but able to pull back. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Burrowed Banelings. Burrowed Ultralisk. Oh, my God. 
And that's something you see very often. It's such a slow unburrow. <laughs> it makes you wonder why people do it, but it seems like Panda Bear Me is going to end up losing that new expansion, the expansion that he needed so desperately. This third expansion is going to go down GG. Jason takes game number one. Wow, that was incredibly well gunned. Well, well gunned. Well gunned. I mean, by Jason.